or like the security breaches at Target and Home Depot, and it no longer phases them. Consumers have become numb to the term data breach. Paul Oster is a credit repair specialist and the CEO of Better Qualified. He's warning people who may have been compromised not to be blasé. The hacked information includes social security numbers, credit cards, birth dates, emails, and addresses. And in the hands of a hacker, could turn your life into chaos. They could uh, obtain a mortgage, they could buy a car, they could open up numerous credit cards and lines of credit. They could get a driver's license. You know, you don't want the guy uh, in South Carolina on his 50 WI driving around with your identity. The hacker could also file fake tax returns in your name. Once they have somebody's social security numbers and they have personal information like dates of birth, addresses, and the social security number they could easily file. Attorney Leslie Tain says hackers may not try to create an identity using your vital information right away. They could wait years before they strike. This is very big right now. It's in the news. People are becoming more aware of it. But as time goes on, people will become more lax, and the hackers are aware of that. They know that after the year, you might not want to pay twenty or thirty dollars a month to monitor your credit, and they know that after a while, you're not going to remember to watch all the details of all your personal information. And hackers are always on a phishing expedition, looking for more information from you once they have your email or phone number, which they now have from the Equifax security breach. These people got all of our data. So now they're going to start to send, they know what accounts we have. So they're going to start sending phishing emails that look like they're coming from your bank, your credit card. And people are going to make the mistake of clicking on links or answering the phone and providing them even more sensitive information. So don't do it. Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News. Thank you very much, Linda. It's a problem that affects a lot of people. Joining me right now is my special guest tonight. This is Leo Taddeo, former special agent in charge of cyber and special operations, New York's FBI office now with Six Terror. Thanks for joining us tonight, Thanks, Leo. Man. You know, it is a problem. We were talking about this before we went on the air. Uh, we've had a lot of major breaches, and, you know, it, has it become sort of acceptable, like a way of life? This is like, okay, it, it's going to happen. Well, you know, Ernie, more and more of our lives, have transferred into the digital mm. domain, more of our social life, more of our financial life. Right. It's natural for the criminals to follow us into mm -hmm. that domain. So I don't think internet crime is going away. What's not acceptable are these large data breaches where we see hundreds of millions of records stolen and those records in turn being used to commit further crimes. And it's all serious information as we, you know, as we hear, whether it's emails and, and banking information, social security, and there are consequences here. And you wonder why people don't take it more seriously. Right. The consumer has shifted a lot of the responsibility to the companies they do business with. Right. They need to take more of their own security seriously. And as a result of all of this information getting out there, tell us, Leo, from your experience, I mean, we could have more breaches, but also some scams right. as well. Right. The scams that follow are, of course, identity theft, yes. account takeover type, type crimes. But you also have, with the use of this information, more credible traditional scams, mm. like lottery ticket scams, where people are right. asked to pay in advance before the lottery reward is paid. Um, charity scams. The elderly are particularly elderly, vu sure, are vulnerable exactly. to yeah, those types a lot of, of scams. So if I know more about you, including your social security number and other, other facts about you, it's easier to convince you to either send me money or send me more information that I can then leverage against mm -hmm. you. And that's what the cyber criminals are doing. They're amassing these enormous databases on us and using them to further their schemes. Okay, help us out here. Are we making any progress, okay? What are companies doing? I mean, wh wh what is happening out well, there? Well, companies need to take a, a page out of the law enforcement book. They need to look at this fraud problem at every stage of it, from the preparation stage that the criminal takes to the execution stage, which we just saw with Equifax, yeah. now to the monetization stage where the transactions are actually conducted. Right. That kind of total protection across the spectrum mm -hmm. is really the approach that we need to take. And all the technology, the applications, it's all changed, it's all advanced in trying to keep up with that. That's right. So there's been an explosion in application technology. Security has a really hard time keeping up with the infrastructure changes. And that's really what companies are facing now. They're using old tools mm -hmm. on new infrastructure. It's not exactly a good right. fit. 
and the adversaries finding those gaps. So quickly remind us, okay, what should we be thinking about? Well, How can we protect ourselves? I think consumers would do well to check their credit card charges, check their credit reports for activity that they haven't authorized, mm -hmm. and be on guard for anyone who asks you for financial yes. information that you haven't asked to do business with in the first place. Yeah, it affects all of us. We have to be very careful. Leo Taddeo, thank you so much Great for joining us today. All good information, too, thank okay? You. Thanks, Thanks again.